Hello and welcome to Sarcastic Reviews. Today we're going to be talking about the Netflix original stand-up special, Lucas Brothers on Drugs. And this is just released a couple of days before April 20th, otherwise known as 420, a day that a lot of stoners celebrate. And it's very fitting since these guys really like to talk about drugs and make jokes about drugs. In fact, their very first scene is them smoking a joint before actually going in and doing their set, which was pretty funny, I thought. Uh, the, they're, it's two twins. Uh, they're Keith and Kenny Lucas. They're, and they're, it's shot in Brooklyn. And these guys have done a couple of cameos. Uh, one of them was in 21 Jump Street. And uh, they also have uh, had, like an animated series, and I haven't watched. I don't remember their cameo. I've seen Twenty One Jump Street a couple of times, but I don't remember their cameo. And I haven't seen the animated series um, or any of these guys. I think they have another special, but I haven't seen that either. Or maybe this is their first one. But um, they're pretty funny. They have a very dry, deadpan sense of humor. And it really, um, for the jokes they tell, and because there's two of them playing off each other, it really fits the scenarios that they create. Uh, right away, they start ragging on Richard Nixon, talking about how much they hate him, and uh, the war on drugs that he started, because of how hard it is to get drugs now, or compared to what it was, I guess. The, and they, they do a little bit about drugs, not too much. It's mostly just sprinkled in throughout the, the show. Things like, oh, that would have been better on weed or something like that. Uh, talking about how they uh, tried shrooms, but because, you know, you're twins, have, being on shrooms while another person that looks exactly like you is in the room and how awkward that could be. Uh, talking about like twin discrimination and how uh, you know people just assume they have double mint gum now because they're twins things like that uh, they talk about being fired for drugs and how again talking bringing up the twin thing um, how when they're getting fired at the same time it's almost like when something happens to them at the same time it's almost like in 3d because there's two of them so it's funny they uh, talk about getting suspended from school and uh, having to watch Matlock and how that inspired them to be uh, lawyers or try to be lawyers but they didn't get through law school you know it's typical stoner kind of humor like failing out and not being successful and things like that but then ultimately being successful at telling jokes about failing out and being unsuccessful uh, the reason they got suspended is because they were supposed to uh, they were supposed to color in characters in Black History Month, and they ended up coloring them like uh, Brett the Hitman Hart, who wears like pink and black and white stripes. And you know they went on about uh, some wrestling for a bit, which as a wrestling fan was it was pretty funny the jokes they were telling there, they, and talking about Deion Sanders. And how they liked his uh, his one video, hip hop video that he did, which is like the only one he's ever done. And now the his lines just don't make any sense. They try their shot at OJ jokes, but they're like they're really bad, but intentionally bad, which is funny. Talking about movie night with the Black Panthers and how watching at first they were mad because they showed movies that were like a horror movie like Scream Two or in the very beginning, two black people died, but then they calmed them down by showing them that the rest of the movie is a bunch of white people dying. You know, things like that. Uh, quoting Biggie Smalls in letters to Republicans to show how, uh, how gun control needs to be in place because Biggie had all these guns, but he still got shot. There's, a, there's really, a, there's quite a few, I don't want to go into all of their jokes because they are funny and you have to see them in person. They're, they're, it's a very short set um, in total, probably just over 40 minutes. Uh, it ends with a cartoon, which is actually uh, 
a funny cartoon where it was the Nixon coming back to explain them to them how the war on drugs actually helped because it would it made people like Biggie Smalls, you know, and the hip hop industry. So that kind of thing is funny. They're good comedians. Uh, I would watch another special with them for sure. They uh, and now it actually has me interested in checking out their animated series and seeing if they have any other specials. Uh, they play off each other really well. Like they're the jokes aren't are like one starts, the other continues, the other continues, the other hits the punchline, and they got it planned out really well, and they flow really well together. Which usually when you have two people on on a stage telling jokes, it doesn't it feels fake. But with these guys, it doesn't. It feels very organic. So I like it. Uh, it's good. I'd say probably a rated a seven out of ten if I was to rate it. And yeah, I would definitely recommend it. Uh, it's the Lucas Brothers on drugs, and it is the Netflix original series. Uh, just released. April 18th so definitely recommend that it's Keith and Kenny Lucas if you like this video like share subscribe or all of the above and thank you and have a nice day